Hello everyone, it's Artan. Uh, today I'm gonna try to show you how to write unit testing in Unity C Sharp, which is hopefully gonna help you write less buggy codes and catch bugs earlier as you're developing new features or changing the behaviors of existing ones. So in any case, it's probably gonna be helpful for you to grow your code base more reliably. And uh, yeah, don't worry, it's not as tricky uh, as it sounds. So stick around and yeah, let's get started. Okay, let's get started with the installation of things. If you don't already have the test runner window, you can go window general and click the test runner. If you don't have this option, please go to window package manager and write test to your search bar and the test framework along with the code framework, sorry, code coverage will come up and please download this and then you will have the option to open this window. I already have this opened and I already have some codes to, you know, demonstrate some skills of the unit testing but again this is just sort of a code base and I want to keep my test codes unit testing codes apart from them so I'm just gonna go where I want to create my test folder select it come here select the edit mode and press this create edit mode test assembly folder which is gonna create this folder and it's gonna also create this assembly definition reference and it's gonna assign some stuff that I'm already gonna need you know the end unit which is essential and a written but it doesn't add my scripts my codes that I want to test so for that create this assembly definition I'm gonna call it my module or something and I'm gonna go back to tests and click here add my module so now whatever I create within this tests folder it's gonna have an access to my scripts here and yeah let's create our first unit testing code and for that I'm gonna right click create script and my first test is gonna be about strings. So I'm gonna write string utilities test. And let me move this here. And I already have everything. I'm gonna remove the mono behavior and all this, write this attribute on top of my class, which is telling the you know compiler that this class is a test class. It's not an actual core game module or anything else. It's just a test class and it should run along with the tests. And also I will create <clears throat> a test method. I'll call it public void. Let's just test this method, right? Concatenate strings when called return merge string okay and I'm gonna define this method as a test method as well so to do that I'll have to write this test attribute on top of the method itself so there's this rule which is called triple a in unit testing it's arrange act and assert first arrange arrange whatever you need to do the test you know second act and third assert your tests so for that first I'm gonna write this first string let's say hello and then write second string world and then write the third string which is expected result it's gonna be hello world like that and also I need to create string utilities here yes this is all I need to start the test and now I need to make my calls or whatever I'm invoking to you know test so I'm gonna call utils concatenate strings first string second string and I'm gonna store the string result and now I need to check if the result Result is expected result right and to do that I need to write my assertions assert that result is equal to expected result but also I want to check assert that result is not empty and it's not null so there's like three assertions here that will be running on this result and if I save this and if I go back, you can see that there is a test created. Gray and empty circle here means that you didn't run this test yet. If you run this, then it's succeeded. And that means our method, concatenate string method, it works as expected. But if I go here and make some changes, you know, write something like that, and then come back to Unity, run this again, it's gonna show that there is something wrong. You know, if you make any changes to your existing code base and run your code again, you're gonna see that something is wrong and then you'll know that if there is anything else is using this code, it's not gonna run as expected. So I'll delete this again and run yes uh, i'm not gonna write the same thing for this one feel free to you know test yourself uh, for this method but i'm not gonna do it at the moment but what i'm gonna do is to write a second one second test just for the get substring method when pulled throws argument 
exception. Right now, I want to check if the method is throwing an exception when I want it to throw an exception. So for that, I'm going to again arrange my things, you know, string, into string, hello, right, and then into index zero, and then into length, let's say five, right? If you look at here, you will see that if start index is lower than zero or bigger than the input length, it's going to throw an ex exception, right? I want to check if the start index, yeah, when it's like lower than the zero, is it going to throw the exception, right? So again, let's just create the utils and use utils get stop string input string start index is let's ch just change this as well when start index is below zero. Now we can call the start index length as well string result. And now I'm gonna make my assertions assert that result throws argument exception. If it doesn't throw any exception, this test is gonna fail. So if it throws an exception, it's gonna be pretty much fine. I'll go back here again. There's a new test and now it didn't, yeah, it didn't succeed. Okay, the problem here is that since it's throwing the error here, it cannot continue to run the assertion. So I'm gonna take this and come here, remove this, write this lambda method, paste it here, and plus I'm gonna change the argument exception because we are throwing not argument exception, but argument out of range exception. But since we don't have it here in this library, I'm just gonna write exception. And I will go back to Unity and run all the code and now it throws exception when start index is below zero. Okay, um, I can actually go ahead and write some more methods to cover more uh, areas of my code of this method. So like I can write tests for this part, for this part, and I can just check if it's returning exactly what I want, but I'm not gonna do that at the moment. I just wanted to show how to test, you know, exception throwing methods is all I needed. Okay, for the second part, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and create a new class here which is going to be array processor tests in which I'm going to try to show uh, how to like you know test your arrays and everything what I'm going to open is array processor class so it's basically the same procedure for lists arrays and any other you know type of collections so yeah let's get started so you know the drill and write tests and write this. So I'm gonna write double array values when given array returns or when given integer array returns doubled values. Again, arrange, act, and assert. So I'm just gonna arrange my you know classes, whatever I need, array processor, and array processor and input array, which is gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And you can also write write another test for you know throwing this argument null exception, but I'm not gonna do that at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call array processor processor, double array values, input array, I'm just gonna get this int result, also int expected, which is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, and now I'm gonna assert that result is equal to expected result, but before that I wanna check assert that result is not empty, it's not null, result length is equal to expected result length so before checking if they are like actually equal you know the values and everything i wanted to add some more assertions so yeah i'm just gonna go back to unity i'm gonna call it again it's fine but if i go here instead of doubling tripling the values if i make changes to this class it's gonna show me something is wrong or if i just you know return something null it's just gonna let me know it's it's not working as expected right so i'm just gonna roll this back um, Run yes for uh, arrays and collections like lists and everything there are some other stuff that we can do so if you write assert that result does contain like two four six eight and ten it's also gonna run some more checks which is already here it's not gonna change but if I like change this array I don't know array zero nine 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 it's gonna, you know, insert this value to the first element of the array. And yes, it's gonna fail somewhere here, right? Because there's no two, but let's just get that back. So this is how you check if your array or collection has certain values and everything, or if they are at certain length, you know, if they are not empty, not null, if they're equal to, you know, given result, the expected result and stuff like that. Um, Yeah, that's how you test your uh, collections, array lists, everything. Let's move on.
Okay, for my third uh, testing script, I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to test event publisher test. In this test, I'm just going to try to check if this event, this unity event is actually invoked and triggered by this method. So in this example, I'm going to do something different. This time I'm going to use this setup and tear down uh, attributes. What these two uh, attributes do basically, if you just uh, run, you know, your tests setup is called first before running the event publisher test and after all the test has run and everything has finished the teardown is gonna be called it's pretty much like before and after the test methods so I'm just gonna create this private game object I'm gonna call it tester object if you will and I'm gonna create this new game object and I'm gonna call this tester object blah 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 and since we are in uh, since we are calling these you know tests from editor I'm gonna call object destroy immediate instead of destroy again we are in edit mode i'm gonna call tester object pretty much i'm just creating a new object before tests so so that i can use my you know mono behavior here in tests and i'm just gonna destroy it after the test and now i can write my test in peace let's call do something when called invokes event and what i'm gonna do again is basically i'm just gonna um arrange everything at component and event public sure something happened needs to be initialized i'm just gonna add this build first of course for false and now i'm gonna subscribe to this guy which is gonna set this guy true when this event is called it's gonna set this guy true and yeah this is for all the arrangement and now i'm gonna call do something method right this is my act and now i'm gonna do my assertions right is event invoked is true yeah should be it if I go back to Unity, I'm going to see this new event here, right? I'm going to click run all and yeah, it's running. If I go here and command this code and again, check this event is not triggered. It says there's something wrong in, with my code. I need to look at it. Yeah, this is pretty much how you uh, test your Unity events. And for the next operation, I'm going to create this new script animal test. Okay, in this example, I'm going to introduce a new uh, attribute again which is called category so basically it does what it says it's gonna categorize or tests right let's do the you know usual right this guy animal has four legs if i were to create new animal lion legs is four lion name is lion so what i'm gonna do basically is just i'm gonna write this test and now i'm gonna write category saying it's one of the mammals i'm gonna create another one which is gonna be called category again let's call this bird public void animal has two legs and again animals i don't know let's call this pigeon pigeon legs two and what i'm gonna do is assert that legs are just equals to two and here lion lion legs is equal to four if i go back to unity let's say that i have like tons of unit tests and stuff here so i, I just want to filter them by category so to do that i can go here and just see the you know birds and now i can just run the birds if i go back to all of them you'll see that it didn't run so again i can just go to mammals and then run the you know selected in case you have like lots of unit tests in your code you can just you know categorize them just like that um yeah that's pretty much it for the section okay now it's time for another attribute which is test cases and i'm gonna create a new script public void add when called we already know the you know the conventional the usual way but let's say that we want to check this method with different and lots of you know test uh, inputs like a and b we don't want to like hard code them here but we want to write them here as test cases right but before i want to give uh two parameters right a and b and here it's going to be two five and the expected result is seven and for that also i need to write expected result and i can just you know duplicate them as many times as i want one two i can write three or 80 20 so it's kind of arranged before so all i need to do is pretty much call match operations add with a b result so what i'm gonna do is that assert that result is equal to 
expected result and save this go back to unity and if i go back here you can see that there is like three cases here under one test right so if i go run you, you can see that all of them are like running and let's say that we made there is like some sort of a mistake with this method if one of the ca cases fails you can just see that something is wrong with the method you know again this is how you add different cases to your unit testing um before we wrap this up i would like to talk about a few more attributes so that you know we know of them and therefore writing unit tests um gets much easier for us so uh, the first one is about like you know making test cases much convenient so uh in case you have like lots of unit tests you know like it's gonna just pile up on top of your method and we don't want that right so we can actually move them into uh enumerable let's say static and let's say add test cases right new test case data uh, i can write two five seven and one two and i can just come here delete these guys i can write taste case source name of this method and if i go back to unity and run all again as you can see where is it they are here and working and i can just add as many as i want here right i can move this to another c sharp script file or something like that if that's what you want anyway the other one is that ignore let's say that there is like a feature that you are still developing but you're not like you don't want to you know be bugged with the test failures and everything and you want your test to ignore it so you can just come here and say that the feature is still on development so the test is ignored you can write this go back and run all again what is it string utilities see it's just gonna test it the first one is it's gonna ignore this one see it's not called from anywhere this is quite uh, you know convenient way to do things and the last one is um let's say match operations okay i'm just gonna delete this one and i'm gonna go here delete this guy as well and i'm gonna give a range from five, one to five for a and then for b i also again wanna one to five and then the values is gonna be two four six eight and probably ten this is not gonna be called okay let's just ignore this for a second and come back and run all of these tests again it's gonna just call all the possible combinations between the range uh, attribute and the you know values attribute so it's gonna just like call one 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 four like everything is just gonna try all of them to see you know the result so if you have like a um, you know mathematical pattern that you want to test you can pretty much like you know give the inputs like this and you know get the output uh as you wish so yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching it guys please like let me know if there is anything uh, that you would like to you know learn about or you want me to you know talk about so in the comments uh, and also please don't forget to like like and subscribe so thank you see you later bye bye